Welcome, you're watching FNUSA57, and today I will be showing you how to unlock the Rift Worm Heart Weapon Skins, as well as complete the Cupid's Torque Bow Tag Metal Group in as fast a manner as possible. Now, unfortunately, there's a, no easy button per se for this, unless uh, you got some teammates to help you out. But I'll give you some tips and tricks to hopefully make the grind a little less annoying. So it is a pretty cool weapon skin set that you get. And that's the only reason why I'm bothering with this. Because I do not enjoy this particular event. But you need to complete these four medals shown here. Shot through the heart, which is get five headshot kills in Cupid Torque Bow Tag event. Looking for love, which is get 30 eliminations in the Cupid Torque Bow Tag event. And then the Valentine's Veteran, complete 10 rounds of Cupid Torque Bow Tag event. And last but not least, what will probably be the final medal for you to complete is the Love Hurts medal, where you must deal 50,000 damage in Cupid Torque Bow Tag event. So... These three medals are relatively easy. The Love Hurts one is definitely not difficult, but it is very time consuming. Without further ado, so I can show you what you need to do, you're going to go to Versus and queue up for this limited time, it's usually one to two weeks, Versus event called Cupid's Torque Bow Tag. Now, I did some of this with one of my friends earlier, and like I said, I thoroughly did not enjoy the event. Um, of course, I was running into a few bugs where my torque bow arrows were going right through other players and not even registering a hit marker. Uh, so it's touch and go. If you are good with the torque bow and you like it, you'll probably have a better time than me with this event. But be warned that you can very easily get spawn trapped. So for some reason with this particular event, certain maps tend to flip the spawns and certain maps don't. For instance, river, it's almost impossible to flip the spawns. Whereas Gridlock, you can be almost halfway across the map and still flip the spawns. So just keep that in mind. Now, unfortunately, people complained about melee during the snowball fight. So there is no melee. There is no other weapons in this game mode other than the torque bow. And it only starts with five rounds. Now, if you go and pick up another weapon spawn torque bow for ammo, then that weapon will remain in a grayed out state until you die or use up all your ammunition. So keep in mind, ammo is scarce in this particular event. As far as headshots go, obviously aim for the head. The hitbox is a little bit weird. The outer edges, like the red outer edges of my heart-shaped ugly face there, do not actually count. So uh, the hitbox, if you are aiming for a headshot, you want to aim pretty much for the white part. Otherwise, it just goes right past the edge of the, the hitbox. So bear that in mind. Also, another tip is make sure you get a perfect active reload. This is not for increased damage, but it is for a faster charge speed on the torque bow. So just keep that in mind that active reload really helps out. And for the most part, you want to, in this, you kind of want a corner camp. You want to kind of make sure that you keep an eye out for where the enemy are and go from there in order to hopefully hit them without getting hit yourself. Obviously, communicate with your team if you do have the opportunity to mark an enemy mark the enemy and uh you know this way your team will know where they are and it does help out as far as getting the 50,000 damage is concerned the 50,000 damage is very annoying because you must get roughly 90 full health enemy eliminations as far as the eliminations go well, the 30 elims is pretty easy. All you need to do is do damage to the enemy to get credit for an elimination. It's the kill that's problematic. 
if an enemy is at full health and you are the one to deal all the damage to them killing them, you will end up with roughly, or actually, sorry, not roughly, but you should end up with exactly 600 damage dealt. So keep that in mind. It's approximately around the number of 90 kills to actually complete every medal, which is going to probably take you more than the five games required to complete the rounds required medal. Unfortunately, that is a very frustrating situation to be in. It may even take you over a hundred kills depending on how much damage the target has sustained. Dealing damage like that, um, where I got a hit marker, if my teammate killed the enemy that would count for the elimination. That does count for damage dealt, but obviously that's just going to be a portion of the damage that's not actually going to be the full damage like that where we now unlocked the Love Hurts medal. Once you have all of your medals unlocked, if you do wish so, you can leave the game. Uh, you will still get your weapon skins, but just remember that your teammates and your opponents do have feelings and more than likely are stuck trying to get this same really annoying metal set done. So you have one of really three options. You can either go ahead and back out for yourself, do your little victory dance and never touch this annoying mode again. Or if you want, you can stay and play out the game, win or loss. Or if you're playing with friends or just, you know, other people that already have the medals done, you could consider just feeding the enemies kills so that they can get their metal group done as well. Of course, that is entirely up to you. As I said, your teammates do have feelings as well, so if you intentionally lose the match for them, well, that's pretty bad. Now, your opponents may quit out of the match, which is exactly what happened there. I've run into that now twice, so just keep that in mind. Uh, that can make it more annoying to get done. Uh, I don't recommend playing River because River is probably the worst map for this. But it's really personal preference. I would also recommend you bring a friend so you can communicate. As you see here, the metal group is completed and we have all of the Rift Worm skins. If you wish, you can use this event mode to farm the versus event medals for headshot kills and the versus event medals for like rounds one eliminations and things like that because this is pretty easy to get the headshots in uh, it's frustrating but once you get used to where you have to aim for the hitbox and you get used to using the torque bow especially using the perfect active reload faster charge to straighten out that line on the torque bow arrow it's much easier to do than some of the other versus events. So if you want to do that, you can. It's up to you, of course. Let's take a look at the Rift Worm Heart skin because I always do showcase the skins for the guns. And it's actually a semi-animated skin. Uh, so it does look a little bit plasticky. But there is actually a beating heart with somewhat to a lesser extent, but definitely noticeable blood flow on the weapon. So maybe not the best skin in the game. Let's uh, look at it on a bigger weapon there. Make sure all the textures are loaded in. All right, that's better. It's a better example of it than the regular Lancer. Usually these skins look best on like the GL or the Boom Shot. Of course, I will not be using the skins as I have the extremely rare Arid Gale skin set plus the Heroic Venom skin set. I also have the Ascendant set, but that's arguably too easy to get now after these re-up changes. So that is what all of the... Riftworm heart skins look like but it is a pretty cool skin 
So, and it is semi-animated. One of the better event skins. Not my favorite, but one of the better event skins, nonetheless. Alright, I do hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed the video, and it helps you out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Um, if you enjoyed the event, didn't enjoy the event, whatever, just want to leave your opinion, go ahead and leave a comment. I'll do my best to help out anyone who does need help. Of course, make sure you smash that like button and share the video as that does greatly help me out with the searchability of videos here on YouTube. Until next time, my fellow gears, stay frosty.